Hello everyone, hope you are well on this Wednesday afternoon. It is October the 2nd. It's a good thing we are preparedness, most at least that are watching this video are preparedness kind of folks because we don't have to get out in the melee because there are, as you may have already seen, uh, there are reports of widespread runs on the store, the grocery stores especially. And uh, I've seen, I've seen a lot of video of it. I've heard from a lot of you and it's not so much around here. Now I did go into a Walmart marketplace store. It's not the big Walmart, but it's a, it's a marketplace store not far from where I work. And it didn't look too bad in there. There was, uh, you know, things like bread, bottled water was, was dented pretty good. I mean, they didn't have a lot of that. Uh, they did have toilet paper. Uh, but the, uh, the canned goods look like they've been hit hard too, more than usual. So, uh, but I'm seeing video of places just getting wiped out. And this is not just in the southeast; it's happening nationwide. So, uh, so there, there's that. Uh, there is the continuing fallout of the just devastation in parts of North Carolina and the mountains, Tennessee, South Carolina. It's terrible. Even in Georgia. I think Augusta still doesn't have power. Uh, so there's that to cover a little bit. Um, I, uh, and then also uh, there's a couple other little things I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit on here that are important. Um, also have a very good passage I'm going to share with you. So stay tuned towards the end of the video. I saw a little video of a lady who in the uh, in the mountains of North Carolina and she said that a local sheriff there told her and some others to be careful because looting is is picking up out there and it's not so much because people are just uh, doing it for the fun of it but I mean they're going on many days now without power they have no food they have no water you can't survive very long without water and they're looting uh, because they're desperate they're desperate and uh, they're just not getting help it's not getting people in there you know the government isn't I'm going to go into that in a minute but um, that people are the steal they're stealing I don't blame I mean you know what would you do you know what, what are you gonna do uh, if my family is starving or you know we we're about to die with that water you're gonna check it you're gonna do that you're gonna look and see if you, what you can get but anyway she said the sheriff told her that um, if you're coming up in that area to make sure you're carrying and carry with the safety off because you just don't know who you're going to run into. I can understand that. I think we're getting to a point in this country and I, I think it's more than just turning into a third world country. I think it's, it's just increasingly flying out of control. Uh, to, it's going to get to where we just need to all be carrying all the time. I think we're at, we're there. Um, it's sad. It's sad. And can you imagine? Just, just think. Just think about it. If Harris and Walls get in there. By the way, I didn't watch the the vice president debate last night. I just couldn't do it. But I hear that uh, uh, Walls was really bad, really bad. And so I hear Vance really, really cleaned it up with him. So. Not too surprised at that. But anyway, just imagine four years, another four years of what we are seeing right now and worse. I can't. I have no words to describe it, y'all. I really don't. I mean, when you look at the economy, um, national security, foreign policy, crime, the border, there's so many things going on that have been ongoing and now you add what we're seeing right now, just currently, you're getting a good barometer right now uh, with the strike. There's like, mum is the word. It's like, they're not even trying to resolve that. The strike. I mean, you the president or the vice president, step it up, do something. It's this cavalier attitude. And then, uh, so you got the strike, you got the, the lack of disaster relief going on. They move mountains, sending money overseas to the Z-Man and other folks. Sending electri electric uh, transformers, electricity components, and all that stuff to the Z-Man. When you've got people here 
that have been without power and they may not get power for weeks, maybe months, y'all. Your own people, your own citizens. Where's FEMA? Where's the president? Where's the vice president? Where are the governors? And I'm hearing good things about uh, the Florida governor. He's stepping up. and He's helping other states from what I hear. I don't know where the other governors are. I don't know. If I were a governor, I would do everything in my power to help my people. And then beyond that, I would go, I would stretch the limits. I'd do whatever I have to do. Send who you got to send. So where are they? Where are the governors? Where are the Republicans? It's quiet. It's too quiet. People are dying. People have died and haven't even, haven't been recovered yet. I'm hearing stories of people that are witnessing dead animals, humans, remains. They're washing up. Water's receding. You're going to see a lot of them. Unreal. You hear? It's just... It's horrendous. It's horrendous. Their own people. American citizens. And to top that off, you got people that are so unhinged that they're going on social media and celebrating the fact that people have lost their lives, have lost everything they have, property-wise. Family members. Watching family members washed away. They're celebrating it can't tell me that we're in the biggest spiritual warfare we've ever seen. It also makes me think of 1930s Germany and some other countries as far as the state media that we have here is unreal. And add the propaganda machine would make the Third Reich blush. I, I mean, it's just, it's, I, I never I never thought I'd live long enough to see anything like this. I really didn't. In the future, yeah, okay. But it's in front of us now. It's in our face. It's in our face, y'all. If there was ever more reason to prepare self-defense, your basics, forge some alliances if possible because the government is surely not going to come and save you and that's on all dang levels it's not just the federal where's FEMA I'm also hearing the state I mean where are they I'm seeing videos I'm seeing a lot of this not just one or two it's legit where private citizens are using their own helicopters to get into these remote areas and deliver some relief these people are so desperate I saw one where a guy he's he's Got his own helicopter, and he's dry, he's flying, looking for people that have written SOS in the mud. That sounds like something. That's in the United States of America. That's something. That's, this is not South America. This is not in Asia. It's not on the uh, African continent. In some far reaching out, 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 you know, then Timbuktu somewhere way out there. This is right here in our backyard, y'all. Where's all those resources? You know it's you know it's available. With the military with such a high budget and the capability, and we're over there overseas putting people at risk there. It just makes no sense. And you got people here perishing by the day. I have no words for it, really. It's beyond despicable. So, my original point that I was starting with, so you're getting a barometer now. So, they're so cavalier, like, oh, we sent all the help. Ah, let them eat cake. Let them drink the river water. You're seeing this now. Can you imagine, imagine four years coming up? That's what you're going to see and beyond. Worse, y'all. Worse. It's so bad. It's so bad. Where are the Republicans? They're mighty quiet. Unless I've missed something, let me know. 
but I, I haven't heard it. This is too quiet. Entire towns are gone in North Carolina in the mountains. And it's not just in North Carolina. I know the other states are getting hit too. Stock up, arm up. You know, um, I don't know. I don't. I, I mean, I'm just. Uh, never seen the like of this, y'all. Never seen the like of it. Um, also, hear about citizens being turned away or discouraged from trying to go in there and help. Wow. Just trying to help. But yet, they help people that are here in the country, not in a legal manner. Let's put it that way. All that money doing that, going to that. Social services, debit cards, food, food stamps. Social services, health care, and you got John Q. Citizen and his family perishing right out there. Whatever. Oh well. Oh well. I guess they're out of luck. Where's Congress? Where's the media? Some people are stepping up. Civilians are stepping up. Trusted organizations like Samaritan's Purse, Pinball Preparedness. Patera, Appalachia, Appalachia uh, preparedness. Among others. Those are two that are all, that I, we watch and we follow them. Great channels. Among others. There, there's others. It, the citizens. That's what America is about. It's it's the it's the people, it's the folks. Can you imagine if a Republican was in office now or Trump was in office and anything remote, remotely similar like this was, would be happening? They would be crucified in the media. Absolutely. Beyond belief. But now, it's mighty quiet. You just hear crickets. Crickets. Instead, you're getting fed the trash. Everything from the royal family to Diddy to Swift to sports. Now, I like my sport. I like some sports, but there's a time and a place, and it doesn't. It's not top of mind right now. No, it's not the most important thing right now. Most important thing is to focus on Jesus more than this storm. That's for sure. I get wound up talking about this. Because I am patriotic. In my work, we help people. That's what we do all day long. We go to them. We go to them. We're community-based. We see them in their natural habitat. You should see the stuff we see sometimes. You can't make this up. But we're going to help the best we can, and we do that. It's difficult sometimes, more than other times. If you could ride with me sometimes, you'd be like, dog, dang, dude. Man, I mean, seriously, but it's what we do. We enjoy it. I'm going to go to a passage here in a moment, but I started out saying, talking about too, about the, uh, the run on stores. And if you need some things now, from what I understand, you know, toilet paper, paper towels, all that stuff. It's not like that's, I believe that's made here in the United States. It's not like that's going to be in a danger with the strike, you know, with the port strike. You know, there'd be other things. Produce, some other foodstuffs probably. Um, but with the run on stores, it's in progress. So um, check your stocks, check, check, your, check your pantry. You know, if there's some things you've, you've been leaving out, go ahead and knock it out. Go ahead and get some. All right. 
but uh, let's keep let's keep preparedness minded. As preparedness minded people, we don't have to go and get into this mess and wipe out the shelves like we're accused of doing, but we don't. We don't have to because of our because of the way we we prepare. It's the ones who didn't prepare or the ones who panic and have been have not been informed of what's going on. And now they're awakened a little bit and they go out there and freak out. If things were to turn totally sideways, and when it does, they will be so dangerous. They're dangerous now because they'll be pissed off. They didn't get prepared and they've been throwing it in your face for all these years and calling you crazy because you prepare a little bit. And then when something happens, they're going to freak out and they'll become dangerous. They will. They are now. Anyway, anyway, I got to go to a passage. Uh, we're going into Joshua, going Old Testament on you today. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not tremble or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen, amen. Be strong and courageous. He didn't give us a spirit of fear. He didn't. He, he, the spirit of courage and being strong. He sees us through it. He will be with us wherever we go, too, whatever we're going through. We're not promised an easy time, that's for sure. But I hope that's encouraging. Uh, let's remain strong. Share your thoughts. Let's be careful out there. Take steps for self-defense, y'all. No matter where you are. Stay close to Jesus. Like I said, focus on Him more than the storm. We have to do some things and, and pay attention to things, but we need to keep Him top of mind because that's where it all begins and ends, right? He is and always will be. Always. Okay. So take comfort in that. And keep in prayer. God bless you. I will see you soon.